In this video, we'll dive a bit deeper into the nuanced control of control surfaces for wing components. So let's go ahead and choose our flap component and jump to a zoomed in view of the flap from the top down so that we can look at how some of these parameters actually behave. In the chordwise direction, you'll see that by default, we have a length to chord ratio, and that is constant. So we can adjust that however we like, and OpenVSP is automatically setting the U and W lofting to make sure that these are remaining nice and straight. However, we can come in and set this to be a physical length, where now we have a constant length in your model units. So rather than being a length to chord ratio, this is an actual distance. You can also turn off the constant flag and start to adjust the lengths of each of these sides independently. Now that's really changing where this rotation direction is, but you're not really changing the alignment of these start and end sections. Notice that again, by default, OpenVSP is automatically aligning those with the flow direction. It's keeping them nice and straight. But maybe your application calls for something a little bit different. Let's talk a bit about how that's controlled here. Those are set by the surface and end angles. And notice that these are all grayed out by default because again, OpenVSP is automatically calculating that for you. If we turn this on, then we can set whatever angle we choose relative to, say, the trailing edge here. And so if we set a value of 90, that sets this angle exactly normal to the trailing edge. So let's take a look at what happens, for example, if we come to section and we start to adjust this sweep. As this moves back, we get more and more sweep. You can see that this is staying normal to the trailing edge. So a lot of sweep kind of illustrates exactly what's going on here. These others are again remaining normal or parallel rather with the flow direction. Let's come back in and look at our flaps and see what happens if we turn on the end angle. Now, by default, same angle is activated. So that lets the start angle control it. And now we can adjust these accordingly. So we can set these to be whatever angle we want, or you can turn that off and have the start and end angle be different. So we can adjust that around. You can make this, you know, funky looking trapezoidal control surface section. That's totally fine, up to you. But that is how the, the additional nuance, the additional parameters and controls for uh, control surfaces on wings can be leveraged to create these really unique and interesting shapes. Now, there's one final thing that I want to point out, and that's this parameter down here called num points. So by default, you can see it's set to about 15. That's a nice high number that's allowing OpenVSP to loft in between all these different points to make it pretty straight. Watch what happens if we drag this down to one. You can see that because it's going from point to point and then lofting through these edges, it's not actually straight. What it's doing is it's got this lofted curve that's kind of missing our intent of this straight line here, which is fine if that's what you want, but you can always give it a bit more points so notice that as we give it a few more, it kind of wiggles a little bit and then eventually straightens itself out. So by about 15 or so, you've basically recaptured a straight line. For really complex, maybe blended wing shapes or things with a lot of different sections where there's a lot of discontinuities, you may find that trying to set, uh, let's say, a trailing edge rudder or something on a, on a vertical tail, might be a bit of a challenge. So by playing around with the number of points, you're gonna get a bit of a better fit to those curves and you'll be able to try and adjust that. 